Aloha, this is Min. I'm a licensed real estate broker in Hawaii. I'm also a broker in charge at Remax Honolulu. Warning, some viewers may find the following content disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to this fixer upper home in Oahu, Hawaii. One man's trash is another man's treasure. This home's packed with potential possibilities and just need some hard work, money, and TLC. TLC stands for Tender, loving care. This home's located in Kalihi Valley. Can you guess the price? I'll tell you in a second. Stay tuned and try your best guess. Kalihi Valley is an old town in Honolulu, approximately one mile away from Kalihi Uka Community Park, approximately 1.8 miles to Kamehameha Shopping Center, approximately 1.6 miles to Kamehameha School, Kapalama Campus, approximately 5 miles to downtown Honolulu. It is in a peaceful neighborhood, and you can hear chicks and roosters time to time. It rains here quite often because you're in the back of the valley. It has 10 bedrooms, five bathrooms and three half bathrooms and four parkings it is rare that you see a house with all 10 bedrooms and bathrooms permitted it is very difficult to get permits for this many bedrooms and bathrooms nowadays approximately 4861 square feet of living space approximately 6177 square feet of land space tax assessed building value is 459 and 900 land assessed value is 577 and 300 dollars so by the way why is this chair here total tax assessed value is 1 million $37,200 as of 2021. So how much do you think the market value is? In English, so how much did this house sell for? It was listed for $750,000 because of the condition of the house. I helped my client get this house for $450,000 and we just closed in April 2021, less than 30 days closing with cash. Like one of my clients say, if the price is right, I would buy. There is no home that I cannot buy if the price is right. The price was good for him, so he got it. It makes sense if you're an experienced flipper and know what you're doing. It took a lot of calls and emails to make this work at this price. This is why it is important to have a full-time real estate broker to help you when buying a home. I really appreciate professional manner in this transaction. It is one of the most difficult transactions for sure. Everyone worked very hard. Even the other party thought it was her most stressful and hardest transaction she's ever done in her real estate career. But she was very, very professional throughout the transaction. Also, Pono Power, I would like to say thanks to them for being very professional as well. Luckily for this transaction, everyone who was involved were full-time, so job was done. As you can see, there are many, many, many problems. 
It is a very interesting home. It will take lots of work. It does not take a rocket science to see that, of course. To be honest, these types of homes do not make me feel uncomfortable. For me, it's just a job, nothing more, nothing less. The condition of the house is one of the worst that I've seen. But it's not the worst home that I had a transaction with. I'll talk about that a little bit later. This home has total 9 entrances. This home has been owner-occupied, but as you can guess, this home probably had rooms rented out due to all the different entrances available. Some part of house are completely separated, so it was easier to rent out. The owner was getting old, and she could not take care of the home. This home could give you an idea why some investors rather buy condos than houses. The potential damage and risk are much higher than condos. As I said, this is one of the worst, but not the worst. Let me tell you a little bit about the worst place that I ever closed. It was about seven years ago. This story might be disturbing to some viewers, so if you like to skip it, please do so. I've sold one where a person has passed and nobody knew about that for a few days. I don't want to speak about too much details, but involved a flies, forensic hazard cleaning, lots of smell, but I closed within 20 days. Yep, that's me, the hardworking agent. I also did a transaction, it was a townhouse, where there were few deaths. It might be sensitive to some people, but some don't care. Some neighbors call it haunted. The choice is ultimately up to the client. I just respect my client's decisions and represent their best interest. Everyone's different. My client's plan is of course, fix the property and make it habitable by flipping. So what is flipping? You buy a poor condition home and fix it and make profit. Flipping in Hawaii is harder than you think. In order to make money by flipping, you need cheap land. You also need a cheap improvement and make it fancy so you can sell high. You make money off of the improvement, not off the land when you flip the property. But Hawaii land is expensive. It is more lucrative to do flips on the mainland. The land cost of goods and labor are cheaper. It is not impossible to do flips in Hawaii, but it's not as profitable as the mainland. You need a lot of things at cost without high markups. This house has many problems as you see. My client did about 10 inspections with contractors and architect engineers. It is not going to be easy for him. I recommended the buyer not to proceed with this since it takes too much work. But my buyer really likes the challenge. But I think me telling him not to proceed with this home actually made him want it more and decided to buy and fix it. I'll keep you posted after the work is done. I look forward to see what it does. And keep you posted. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see properties in Oahu, please visit min808.com. You can register to stay up to date in any neighborhood or building or email me at minyonghawaii at gmail.com.